What's up guys, Anyway, Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to share with you guys a few iPhone settings you should never turn on. And if they're already on, you should consider turning them off. I never used these settings and I wanted to share those with you guys. So let's dive right in. Now the first one has to do specifically with iPhone 12 and I noticed this one gives you a bad user experience. So if you go to settings, you go to cell options here and then you go to cell data options. You have the ability to go to voice and data. And right here you can choose or rather go from 5G to LTE automatically or simply default back to LTE or simply go always on 5G. I never recommend going on only 5G. 5G network just isn't completely ready as of yet. This will actually drain your battery so quickly that you may never want to turn this setting on unless you live on a 5G area where you know you have 5G and it's working perfectly fine. I always recommend just going to 5G automatically because again, 5G just really, really takes up the battery on your iPhone and is constantly searching for that network connection if you don't have 5G and it's definitely a bad user experience. So the first one is 5G under cell options. Always just keep it under automatic. If you have it to 5G, I recommend going back to automatic or even LTE. Another new feature on iPhone with the new app library feature, we have the ability to only download applications directly to these folders. If you go into settings here on your iPhone and then you go to home screen right here, you have the ability to every app that you download, only send it over to the app library. Now I've noticed that some users get confused because once they download applications, if this setting is on, they can't find it on the home screen and that's because that option is enabled. If you have that option enabled and you can't find your applications on the home screen, if you turn that off, your applications will download to the home screen of your iPhone instead of only downloading directly to the app library feature. Now, you can also turn on or off the notification badges for the actual app library. So if we go to the folders here and you have any app notifications, I highly recommend turning this one on actually. But in terms of downloading apps only to the app library, I recommend you choose the first option, add to home screen, so you don't lose your applications from the home screen or get any confusion when you download a new apps. Another option I always keep only for contacts is under general and airdrop. Now, if you're in a crowded area, you're traveling or anything like that, if you have airdrop enabled for everyone, this allows anybody to send you a video, a file, a photo, and yes, you have to do click accept, but you get that preview window where you can see what that person's sending you. It could be annoying depending even if you're in school and you don't want everyone to be sending you something accidentally. I highly recommend only checking the contact only option over airdrop so you can avoid things to be accidentally sent to you so airdrop is one of those options i always keep for contacts only and one of my biggest complaints with ios is that significant location is always on on the iPhone default ever since iOS 9, I believe. And this, to me, is sort of an invasion of privacy. This one is a big one. If we go to privacy and we go to location services, scroll all the way down right here where it says system services, I always turn off significant location. If you don't have this turned off, go to your settings right now and have a look. Now, it does require Face ID in order to unlock this option here, but you'll find that down here you have all the places you visited rather you knew that your iPhone was logging that in or not you'll see a bunch of places here you can click on clear history and it'll delete all the places that you've been to but your iPhone is almost secretly logging every place you go at all times now this is to improve the user experience with maps and things like that for recommendations and so forth but I just really think Apple should notify users that this option is on because it is sort of an invasion of privacy in my opinion I also turn off right here this option product improvements so iPhone analytics popular near me and route and traffic this is to improve the user experience with maps and other Apple services but I don't necessarily use those I prefer Google Maps and uh, Google services as well so I turn those off as well it helps improve the battery of the iPhone as well while I do that and last but not least another option I like to turn off on my iPhone is under the App Store now in App Store you have the ability to automatically download application and app up updates 
to other devices that are logged in with your Apple ID. So for example, if you have an iPhone and an iPad, every app that you download on the iPhone, it would automatically download on the iPad as well, as well as updates. Now I always have this option turned off because sometimes I download apps on my iPhone that I'm not gonna necessarily be using for a long time or that I just wanna test out. And then when I go back to iPad, they're already there. So I end up deleting so many apps from the iPad when I pick it up after testing a few apps or taking a look at a couple apps that I'm not gonna be having on my iPhone. It's sort of annoying to me, so I turn this option off. And the cell data options right here for automatic downloads and updates as well, because this drains the battery. I like to update my applications only when I visit the app store and you do get a notification when you do have an update. So I like to read over my updates before I do update the apps on my iPhone. And this takes up the data and the battery as well if you're traveling. So I always turn those options off. So those are some of the settings that I recommend you do never turn on on your iPhone. And let me know if you agree. Do you have some that you'd never turn on on your iPhone? I would like to hear from you in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this quick one and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.